Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Manchester United 3, RC Lens 1. Good game, good game, good game. And all Trafford victory, people. All Trafford victory. We were desperate for that victory today. I'm telling you guys, we were desperate for that victory. The Reds are... Uh, came from behind to seal a win in our Seoul Old Trafford outing of a preseason. We trailed at the break after a stunning opener from uh, Florian Sotoka uh, midway through the first half, but we came out uh, out of the blocks really strong, really strong in the second half. When we restarted that second half, things just completely turned around, completely turned around. Marcus Rashford's uh, uh, strike Drew's level uh, before Alejandro Garnacho and Anthony actually combined for the ladder to slot home from a similar position. And finally, uh, Casemiro's header sealed a deserved two goal cushion victory. I'm, I'm really satisfied with this. I'm really satisfied with this. I'm not happy with the first half. I think everybody could, just, could, could agree that the first half was just not right. The tempo wasn't there, the flow wasn't there, the team was just not there in the first half. And I don't know what Eric Ten Hag has said to the team because the second half just completely changed, completely changed in my eyes. I'm gonna go to, uh, through the, uh, the these players and we're just gonna kind of give them ratings uh, based on their performance in this match. I thought Onana was was decent. Do let me know, by the way, guys, before we get into this, do let me know your bad at the match for this game in the comment sections. I'm going to tell you my man of the match. Just stick around. Uh, Onana and goal. I think Onana did well, except for that mistake. I, I wouldn't call it a mistake. It was not his mistake. It was Dalot's mistake. Dalot was trying to pass to uh, Varane, and the, the pass was just wasn't right. And Onana just got dinked from halfway line. Halfway line. The guy scored from halfway line. On another day, you would think that it's the goalkeeper's fault, but it's just the way we play. We pushing everybody up. We pushing the defenders, the goalkeeper. This is the reason why uh, Eric Ten Hag has bought Onana's because of that. So the high press game and the high line holding, sometimes you're going to get exposed and we got exposed. Thank God it's just a preseason, but we got exposed. It just goes to show you that you can't make a mistake in that area when you're passing it around like, like Dalo did in this incident. Uh, Varana Martinez, solid today, I think. We weren't really threatened in this game, except for that one mistake. Shaw, I haven't seen him really offensively, but defensively, he was sound. Uh, Mesa Mount and Casemiro. Casemiro did score in this game, and Casemiro uh, did hold uh, uh, that CDM position properly. I thought he helped out when we needed to uh, defend, and I thought he helped out offensively as well. Uh, the goal he scored... I'm not quite sure he knows anything about it, really. Like Marcus Rashford tried to score the goal, uh, heads the ball in, and it deflected off of Casemiro to go in. So I'm not going to give him a credit for that goal. But all in all, I think the performance was OK. Mason Mount, really, really decent chance. He scuffed it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how he missed it. I really don't know how he missed it. I mean, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on Mason Mount. I don't know if it's the number seven, but it just for me it just it just looks nervous in my eyes i just don't i, I just don't know what it is uh the, the passing the scoring part i don't know i think he needs a goal he needs a goal immediately to just put everything behind him and to kick off his season for sure but i think mesa mount needs to improve Garnacho found him 101 and he just missed it a tap in i mean my grandmother would have scored that and he just miss hits the ball should have scored in this game but average performance all in all offensively i need to see more from him and uh defensively he was good in terms of like putting pressure on players the energy he has yes it is absolutely good and it is absolutely key for manchester united but i think we need more than that i think we need more than just running around and uh, we've been saying that about fred we've been saying that about uh, McTominay, all these guys that are just putting a lot of energy into the team, but that's just not enough. That should be part of your your your, your game, but it's not it's not the only thing you're bringing into the table. So Mason Mount really has to improve in my eyes. The front four, Garnacho, absolutely outstanding in this match. Electric from from minute one, I would say. I mean, the first half, second half, Garnacho was just involved in everything. 
Now the goal that Anthony scored, Garnacho was the assist. Uh, uh, and Garnacho created a lot of chances. It's just a shame that he didn't score in this game. It's just a shame that he didn't score in this game. But for me, matter the best, Garnacho. Uh, Bruno, solid game by him. Solid ball, by the way. Insane ball to Garnacho. If you've seen, if you've not seen that, make sure you check that out. I mean, insane ball by Bruno Fernandez to find Garnacho. Uh, it would have been a goal if Mason actually scored it, but Mason uh, Mason uh, Mount actually missed it. But Bruno. He was coordinating in the middle of the park. I, th I thought he was creative uh, in the front four. He created uh, a couple of chances for Marcus Rashford as well. So I thought, I thought Fernandez was good. Fernandez was good in this game. Anthony, first half really bad. Second half improved significantly, significantly improved in the second half, and he deserved his goal. He deserved his goal. Easy finish. Uh, all credits goes to Garnacho for that pass, but. Again, Anthony was there, and you have to finish them chances. And Anthony did finish his chance and got himself on the goal sheet, uh, on the score sheet. And I think I'm really looking forward to seeing Anthony uh, in the upcoming season. I thought he didn't have the best of seasons last season. He did score magnificent goals, but all in all, his performance wasn't there. I expect a lot from him this season. I expect that he 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 starts to deliver this season for Manchester United. Uh, Marcus Rashford up front did manage to find the back of the net yes it was a deflection but i don't care i think a striker needs to score goals and uh, marcus rashford good to see him back on the score sheet at old trafford i'm not quite sure he wants to play as a nine i think i think if i'm not mistaken i think he wants to play on the left hand side where garnacho played which which tells me that rasmus hoyland is going to be the striker so i'm thinking the way we're going to set up is Rashford on the left, Rasmus Hoyland up front, and then Anthony on the right, Garnacho and Sancho will be on the bench. Yes, Sancho came on in the second half around 65, 67 minutes in and did okay. Uh, he still be used as a false nine, so it, it's gonna be interesting to see. Are we gonna have Mason Greenwood back uh, for the striker position? If not, then we're gonna have to use Jaden Sancho as a nine because Rasmus Hoyland and Martial will be the only strikers in the team. Yes, Marcus Rashford could be a striker, but he doesn't want to play there. He wants to play on the left-hand side. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. But solid game, guys. Solid game. We do have another game uh, tomorrow against Bilbao. Our, I reckon it's going to be in a completely a, a different uh, 11. I don't think all these guys will be playing tomorrow. Maybe the likes of Fred, uh, Maguire, Lindelof. Wambasaka, Williams, Hannibal, all these guys might get a chance to play tomorrow. I don't think this team's gonna travel, and I think this team will be the team that faces uh, Wolves next week in the Premier League. Yeah, but thank you for watching, guys. Yes, I forgot to mention, Rasmus Hoyland has been announced, has been announced, has been revealed at Old Trafford. It's just, it's just a great thing to see. A great thing to see, and hopefully he can start on Saturday against Wolves. He won't be making the game tomorrow, but I think he will start on uh, on on Sunday or Saturday against Wolves. But yeah, people, do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match, who has impressed you the most in this game. But thanks for watching. Make sure to smash a like on the stream and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.